Hello everyone, welcome back to America Truck Simulator. Get in here doing some back-to-back -back videos of America Truck Simulator. We're going to be, using, we're gonna be uh, driving for the night today. Using the Western Star 57X. Ready to roll. Let's go run. Don't think I've done a night run yet, so we're going to go ahead and get in and do one. We got some uh, guardrails. We'll go ahead and get a thumbnail down the road here. Turn left. Hope one is doing well. I do appreciate anyone that does come by and watch the video of the day. Or one of you watch it means a lot. If uh, you like the content, don't get subscribed to the channel. And then turn left. Have the channel grow. Let's see, we're gonna turn right here. Turn left. So I'm getting some lag, guys. I'm looking and trying to figure out what's going on with the lag. Why the lag is so bad. And Go straight on. I'm not running That's any right. kind of traffic mod, so I know it's not a traffic mod. So if you see a lot, I do apologize for that. Go ahead and let him go ahead of us. Wanted to use a little bit of a different truck. Now this texture, the paint job did come with this truck. I don't think Knight uses these trucks. I did look it up and the pictures that I found, I did not see one of these trucks being used. Now they may use them and there's no, there's no pictures of them, but I did not find any pictures of them using this uh, the West Star 57X. But this is the truck that I decided I wanted to use. I haven't used it in a while. something neither they pad which you need them on in, in uh, that kind of weather anyways but all right we got 79 miles to go except we didn't have our headlights on We're gonna go ahead and get a picture right here on this bridge, a thumbnail. Yeah, I think that would be good on this bridge right here. Oh, that would even look even better. With the lake in the background. Let's see if I can
Yeah. Here we go, we'll get us a thumbnail. And then, you know it, continue straight on. Maybe this rain will move out. Still a good looking truck. straight on. That's right. Keep right, and then, you know it, continue straight on. Go straight on. That's right. Sixty four miles ago. We're back using the uh I don't know best what's caused of this I may have turned that off, that suspension uh mod that's a mod that I activated Everything else uh, was already on. I don't know if that's what's causing the lag. But using the suspension mod I was using. on the outside. Alright, we'll be this thing. If it's a quick delivery, they wanted to urge you. We had 39 miles go, so we'll be this thing. Go straight on. That's right.
I like we're floating in a boat in this truck. With that suspension pack on. Suspension mod. Go straight on. That's right. straight on. That's right. Keep right and then turn right. All right, we're here. Um, right here. Turn right. Hey guys, I'm gonna address this again. I, I have questions about this all the time for my ETS content. Uh, I don't use too many modded trucks. You have arrived to your destination. And when I do use my user your route for guidance is now finished. I do mod reviews and do live streams for y'all with mod truck. To me, I'd rather really use truck like this. But I, I do it because I know you, you guys, you y'all like the mod trucks. You like to see uh see and, and I understand that. And but I have questions all the time. Why don't you use more mod trucks? Well, I, I don't want to use more mod trucks. I enjoy these trucks. I think SCS is getting a lot better at what they do. I think they're getting better with their trucks, and I enjoy driving them. All of them. Alright, so we, we gotta back it. I'm kinda looking to see exactly where we gotta go here. Okay. We're, we're gonna have to turn around. I don't know if we're going to be swinging enough to turn it though. Yeah, I mean, I prefer using these trucks than I do a modded truck. Modded trucks are great. I mean, the, the, the developers, the modders, they they do an excellent job with all their trucks. But you have the um, what happened for the modded truck because like, so I'll give you an example right now. Viper's truck. He's 389. Right now, his truck it says it's unsupported. It's not being supported. So what happens when they don't support it? It quits working. These trucks here, you know they're going to work. I mean, you're using a modded engine? Okay. You may have a problem with your engine. It's a modded engine, but that truck is going to work. And these trucks are so expensive in this game. That, like this truck here was two, over $200,000 to buy just to do this. This run. So what do you think, you know, 
when, when you spend you spend that much, or a hundred grand for a modded truck and you drive it one time. Then a game here. So that's the main reason why I don't really use too many modded trucks. I mean, and you know, like I said before, SCS is getting, they're getting so much better with making these trucks. I mean, look at that Volvo that just come out, the, the VNL. Made very well. Just looking to make sure there's nothing on the side of me right there. Done an excellent job with it, you know. I mean, no, they're not going to put all those things, all that, you know, a bunch of lights on one and you know, all that because they can't do that. They can only do what the manufacturer elected to do for these models. But the manufacturers are starting to get more. I don't let you add a lot more stuff to them, too. All right, so we drove extra. We drove 102 miles. Took us three hours and 30 minutes to get here. We consumed 50.5 gallons of fuel. No, 20.5 gallons of fuel. I don't know why I'm saying 50. Been a long day. But now, now the sun's out. All right, guys. So that's gonna be the end of the day. We're only doing a, a night transportation run today, using the Western Star. Uh, really good looking truck. But yeah, um, thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Helps the channel grow. And we'll see you in the next video.